everybody. Have you heard about the recipe called Marry Me Chicken? It's been popping up all over the social media for months. Yeah, and I've been talking about this dish for a while, ever since I saw it. And our culinary wizard, Doug Heilman, posted himself making it online. So now we are discovering the secret behind the Internet's most popular dish. Doug, welcome back. And, you know, yeah. it turns out that this has actually been around in variations for maybe even decades. That's right. So uh, Marry Me Chicken, sometimes I heard engagement chicken. And okay. from what I can hunt down, this dish may have been... Um, created by the food org delish and someone just remarked oh it's so good i would marry it but now there's all different kinds of versions this is mine and what makes mine a little different aside from a couple tweaks is i make more sauce because Ooh, i think the sauce is killer oh yeah so what are we looking at here because you just plated these moments ago yeah so we're, we're able to try why these don't we now? start with okay. tasting yeah. because <laughs> okay, heather's been go. waiting for, yeah, I know. You're not going to keep been, us waiting. Yeah, we've been chatting about this for a while. Okay. So I'm serving this over some mashed potatoes. Okay. Um, but we've got chicken, we've got some sun dried tomatoes. Uh, we have a really lovely creamy sauce. And oh uh, if, 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 if you're going to make this for uh, a marriage proposal or you know, because <laughs> yeah. you are getting married, I think it's perfect. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, delicious. Yeah, it's not. Oh fun. my mm. gosh. And it's like restaurant quality, but it's a really easy dish to do. So we're just mm. sauteing a little bit of chicken, and the sauce comes together. You're going to see in, in okay. just a couple of So steps. walk us through, because um, we're not going to be able to talk. So walk us through yeah. one of the first steps. Okay, so uh, <laughs> down here, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the chicken. And okay. uh, if you are doing this oh dish, gosh. what I do to prep it out is I take a chicken breast. They tend to be a little large, so I cut them sort of through the midline, you know, okay. basically through diagonally. And then we're going to pound them out just to make them a little bit more even. They cook a little bit quicker, and, you know, you get a little larger portion, so it actually feels really good. And then we hit them with uh, some salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and I just take them through some simple all-purpose flour. So we did that already, and what happens is you get uh, a really beautiful sort of crud in the pan, and we actually want that that crud. Yeah, it's that's going to be that's going to help develop the flavor of right, the sauce. Exactly. Right, exactly. And David, do you want to help me make? Some sure. Of this? Okay. Yes. Okay. I won't be helping at all. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, you just I'll, keep eating, Heather. I'll, I'll, I'm going to have you throw in some sliced garlic. So okay. Get that all of this garlic. The whole thing. Okay. I slice it, and so it looks like a lot, but it's a little less astringent, a little less harsh. Okay. Um, and then we're going to follow that up. There you go, thank you. We're going to follow that up with uh, a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. Mm. You could use white wine, but a lot of times I don't have a whole bottle of white wine to open or I don't want to open right. it for just a little bit. So this is one of my hacks is just a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. Okay. You're going to get a vinegar hit for a second, so uh, then it'll cook out. It. Mm -hmm. But it does give you that acidity that you want. Oh, yeah. Right. And so now, and David, uh, I love what you're doing. You're scraping up the whole is that bits. Is that what you want me to do? That's exactly okay. right. We're going to add in some chicken stock, and this okay. will really get it up. And you said that your hack is to add more chicken stock so yeah. you can double the sauce. That's exactly right. I doubled this recipe uh, in terms of the, the stock. And so what I do when we get this going is I added just a little bit more of the dredging flour to give us some thickening power because we're adding that extra stock. Right, like right. grandma's gravy. Exactly. Okay. It's so <laughs> luxurious and delicious. And what makes it even better is we're going to add a cup of heavy cream. And we need the heavy cream so that the dish doesn't split so you don't get sort of that curdling. So a cup of heavy cream. We're going to bring this up to a little bit of a bubble. We're going to follow that up with half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. You're doing great, Dave. Keep okay, going. all right. <laughs> yeah, no. Talk me through, Doug. Yeah, so yeah. we've got a little bit of uh, Italian seasoning and uh, red pepper flakes, and then half a cup of uh, sun-dried tomatoes that are just julienned here. And, and those, you took the that juice puts out, like the you. Top. Yeah, the oils you've removed, right? Right, right. Yeah, if, you, if it's packed in oil, you don't need all that oil. Yeah. And so we're bringing this up to a simmer, and then, David, we're going to return the chicken, and I'm happy to do that for you. Okay. So you don't get to. So just put it right back yeah, in Yeah, we're going to put it right back in. So uh, it's going to kind of uh, finish cooking. If it didn't cook the whole way through when we fried it off, just to brown that uh, floured uh, side for the first time and any of the extra juices we can get in there as well. And so it's soaking up all the flavor at this point. <laughs> yeah, and then you're just going to simmer it for, you know, like 10 to 15 minutes until the chicken <laughs> is fully cooked. I just love her face. She is so excited. Well, no, it is so delicious. And so you put it over mashed potatoes. I you did. Have beautiful I did. I do potatoes. like some smashed Yukon gold mashed potatoes. You, I've definitely done this over noodles. <laughs> well, on any carb. But it's also really good, you know, by itself, like maybe with some like more healthy stuff like broccoli on the side. So this is definitely like probably more of a wintertime dish. Um, as Doug mentioned, <laughs> no. we're not going to be having hot 
girl summer, hot boy summer. Oh <laughs> but you know, if you want to, again, if, if the high time wedding season, season starting in the summer, and I know a lot of people get married, maybe this is sort of a fun dish just to make mm -hmm. if you're going through that. I know my parents got ma married at this time. 50 years ago next month, they're getting married mm. 50th oh, wedding anniversary. Oh, congratulations. So, yeah. A little we love early, that yeah. Exactly, so maybe wow. we'll make this dish for them. I think that would be fantastic. It doesn't disappoint, oh, that's for sure. So incredibly good. Oh, well, thank, thank you. Thank you, you Doug, we thank appreciate it. We have the link oh. to Doug's pages oh. on our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com. They don't disappoint.